Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's continue our lesson in lecture 3 of 9. For lecture 3 of 9, we will discuss subtopic 5.1 functions. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to sketch the graph and state the domain and range of the exponential, logarithmic and piecewise functions. For introduction, let's discuss about the relationship between exponential and logarithmic functions. D is the exponential function, the graph. The inverse of exponential function is a logarithmic function and vice versa. That is the relationship. So if we sketch the graph for logarithmic function, it is reflect at y equals to x. The exponential function fx is equal to h power of x and its inverse is f inverse x equals to log x base a. The logarithmic function gx is equal to log x base a and its inverse will be g inverse x equals to h power of x. Now we want to learn how to sketch exponential function. In this lecture, we only discuss the exponential in this form. fx equals to exponent to the power of ax plus b. Step to sketch the graph. First, step the domain and find horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote is where the graph cannot be touched. The second one, find the y-intercept when x equals to 0 and another one point in the domain. Plot the points and horizontal asymptote. And the last one, sketch the curve that passes through the point and approaches to horizontal asymptote. For the first graph, it is for a greater than 0. a is the coefficient of x. The graph intercept y-axis at 1 and the graph approach the x-axis. In this graph, the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis or y equals to 0. The domain is negative infinity to infinity. Okay, all value of x Okay, can be substitute and the range start from x axis and go through to infinity because it is approach x axis. Okay, didn't touch the x axis. That's why for the range at zero, we use open bracket. Next graph, d is for a less than zero. This graph also have y intercept at 1 and the graph approach the horizontal asymptote on the right side. This is the horizontal asymptote y equals to 0. The domain is negative infinity to infinity and the range is 0 to infinity. Next part, we will go through the details in sketching the graph. Example 1, sketch the graph of fx equals to exponent 2x minus 1. Determine the domain and the range. First step, we state the domain and find horizontal asymptote. The domain for exponential function is all values from negative infinity to infinity. For horizontal asymptote, SHA, we refer to the function and then check the value of the constant. So in this case, the constant is negative 1. We can write the horizontal asymptote as y equals to 1. The next step, we want to find y-intercept, x equals to 0 and 1 point in domain. When x equals to 0, y equals to exponent 2 times 0 minus 1. 
exponent 0 is equals to 1 minus 1 equals to 0. D is y intercept. And then we want to find another point in the domain. So we can find any point. Let's say I want to find the value when x equals to 1. So y will be equals to 6.4. Now we want to plot the point. Draw the axis. Horizontal asymptote is at y equals to negative 1. It must be parallel with the x-axis. Then we plot y-intercept and the point that we get. For this point, actually, we want to know the quadrant. It is in first quadrant and whether it is above or below the horizontal. Because it's 6.4, it is above horizontal asymptote. Okay, above, when the graph on the right side is increasing, that means another one on the left side is approaching to horizontal asymptote. So now we have two parts, left or right. One part is approaching to horizontal asymptote and another part is increasing for this function. The domain is negative infinity to infinity and the range is start from the horizontal asymptote and above negative 1 until infinity. Don't forget it is open bracket. Example 2, sketch the graph of fx equals to 3 plus exponent negative 2x. Determine the domain and range. First, let's take the domain and find horizontal asymptote. Domain is negative infinity to infinity, all value of x. And horizontal asymptote, we take the constant in the function. So, y equals to 3. The next step, we want to find y intercept when x equals to 0. When x equals to 0, y is equals to 3 plus exponent negative 2 times 0. 3 plus 1. So, the y intercept is at y equals to 4. So, the y intercept is at 4. We find another point. Let's say I want to substitute x equals to 1. y will be equals to 3.13. So for this value, it's also in the first quadrant and above horizontal asymptote. Let's sketch the graph or the curve. Horizontal asymptote is at y equals to 3. The y-intercept is 4. So the other point is 3.13. It means that the point is approach uh, at y equals to 3. So the graph will decrease from the left side to the right side. The domain is negative infinity to infinity. And the range is start from 3 to infinity. Example 3. Sketch the graph of fx equals to negative 1 minus exponent negative 2x. Determine the domain and range. First, state the domain. Domain is negative infinity to infinity. Horizontal asymptote. So what is the constant for this function? Okay, let's refer to the function. The constant is negative 1. So y equals to negative 1. Y intercept. 
x equals to 0, y equals to negative 1 minus exponent negative 2 times 0. So we will get negative 2. We find another point. Let's say we take the value of x equals to 1. Y will be equals to negative 1.13. Negative 1.13 is below horizontal asymptote. And it will be at fourth quadrant. How we know it? Because x is positive and y is negative. Sketch the graph. Horizontal asymptote is at y equals to negative 1. Plot the y-intercept at y equals to negative 2 and negative 1.13 is below the horizontal asymptote and also okay, approaches to y equals to negative 1. So the graph will increase from negative infinity and approaching to the horizontal asymptote on the right side. The domain is negative infinity to infinity and the range it will start from negative infinity until negative 1. When the graph is below the asymptote so it will start from negative infinity. If the graph is above the asymptote, the range will be until infinity.